but... Okay, so the weekly one-shot kind of crashed and burned. Uh, and what a shame. It means we'll have to go back to some State of Decay 2. We're back. We have migrated to this fort, and we've actually increased the amount of survivors we have. I didn't want to do this so soon, uh, mostly because we are starvingly short on food. We have a day and a bit worth of food, and that's it. Uh, nonetheless, I decided to add two more people that submitted their characters. We've got Integral Hamster and Illustra John. It's a match that now is determined to have been made in heaven. They're both sadistic. Wait, that's not sadistic, that's sarcastic. Okay, in any case, Integral Hamster is walking cancer for the team. Starts conflicts, irritable, annoys irritable. Uh, but hey, he himself gets a little bit of a morale boost. What a lucky guy. Uh, and Illustra John is sadistic, so he will start conflicts with others. Uh, their bonuses that they get if they hang around, they're both really crap. Five max stamina for everyone, I mean, uh, that's that's really not good. Plus four morale for everyone is really weak as well. He is a painter, I like painter, because it works well with the lounge building later on, but that is later on, we need to survive now. And somehow, Hamster himself gets increased stamina. Point is, I don't really want either of them in my base, but they're here now, so we'll have to make do with that. What I'm going to do is, why did I put water here? Get rid of that water. And instead install the fertilizer we have on this garden. And much as I love this auto works, I'm going to destroy it. It's not going to give me any resources. But, uh, 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 I'm pretty sure I have a lot of firecrackers. At least enough firecrackers. So goodbye workshop as well. And we're going to build a big farm because we desperately need food. We've got to solve this food deficit. We've got to solve it now. So yeah, this is a new base. This is... Actually, what even is this place? A Rusty Rosie's. I'm guessing it's some kind of drive-in dinner place. Yeah, probably. This place is having a portable generator put into it so we can grab all the fuel and stuff out of it. Wonderful. Right, what you're going to do here, Laser Kiwi, is get your awesome Magnum Rifle back and check yourself into the clinic. And we are going to grab it'll ottle black, bottle it'll ottle you. We're going to grab John, we're going to grab Hamster, we're going to tool both of them up, and then they're going to go out in a big run. And one of them will die. Actually, both of them might die, but we're only coming back when one of them is dead. Or if they're tired, then I'll let them sleep and make them go out and do this all over again. Means I'm not going to invest a whole lot into them. Uh, you're going to get that backpack. You're going to find the hamster. And, oh, I have no influence, do I? Oh, that's a bit of a bummer. Okay, hamster, where are you at? That's not hamster, that's kiwi. It's good to see you. It's not good to see me. This marks one of our deaths. Would you mind helping me with something? Get on up. Is it too late to get new character at characters added? By now I've got about 40 people who have uh, submitted characters, so uh, I don't really need more. Which is a sad thing to say, but that doesn't make it less true. Right, there we go. Keep you equipped with that. Both of them need melee weapons and guns, but both of those need to be things I'm not going to miss. Kukiri's quite a good weapon. I uh, will take both of these. Bowie machete for one, Kokiri sword for the other. What's up? There we go, and we both need weapons. As long as they're relatively fast firing, it's okay. And we have quite a few guns. Um, can't really go wrong with a shotgun. Really cleans out. Um, take that, and I'd hate to lose an M4A1, but it's better than losing. Ooh, a JL94 custom. Nah, M4A1s are super common. So, uh, if Hamster or John are in chat, which gun do you want? Because we're about to get rocking and rolling. There's a lot to be done. There are infestations to be cleared. There are areas to be scavenged. Well, shotgun me up, says Illustra John. There you go. Yes. Hamster you get the considerably better weapon. What's up? And if you're going to be running around with a shotgun, we might as well have it fully loaded, but you're not going to get any extra ammo. Any non-Russian will do. <laughs> Remember no Russian, is that how it goes? 
Okay, anything else I want them to bring with them? Some firecrackers. And... Wow, I am low on firebombing. But that's okay. That is something that we can solve. Where are the backpacks at? I think Hamster just smashed through the window trying to get in here. It's a little unfair to only play as one of them as we go along, so we are going to switch between the two. Because I think I have an advantage with the one I'm playing as. Let's bust this open. There we go, three Molotovs and also some fuel. That's pretty swell. Well, at least we'll go through the window part that Hamster opened up for us. Uh, you know what, I think I'll fuel up the vehicle with that. Okay, maybe, just maybe, we want some... Nah, we'll find health as we're going along. The Pathfinders want us to fill around... Who the hell? Yeah, I guess not. I guess there's no problem with that. They want... Uh, they want to join us. Well, that's not going to happen. I'm only taking in people from the community. Okay, let's grab ourselves a bag of fuel for the Pathfinders. As long as people ask nicely, I'll happily give them the resources. If they ask like jerks, they get nothing. There are actually some events in this game that are just traps. There are uh, the Lousy Survivors, a survivalist group that actually can't look after themselves whatsoever. And uh, helping them out is just straight up bad. And then there are the, the nasty survivors who actually end up taking your base. Like, they ask for you to just give them your base. You do, and then they go hostile and will kill you on sight. It's uh, it's a trap of an event uh, queue, and I, I really don't like that. Okay, this is it. They don't have stuff that I'm going to miss too much. But, oh, well, they have the car. I'm going to miss that, so one of them better survive and bring back the car. But one of these two are going to have to survive. This is like the bucket in the center of the table during a game of Ring of Fire. We're going to see what floats to the top. I think the people that we have had on the team so far have done a pretty good job in justifying their existence. Now it's time for these two. And they're both awful characters. If I came across either of these two in a normal playthrough, I would, uh, well, I wouldn't kill them, because that reduces uh, morale. It's better to exile when it comes to morale. But what I'm saying is I'd get rid of them on the double. I think this stuff's already been checked out. Let's go to the survivors first. Oh, but there's something here, isn't there? What do we have? Oh, it's another plague heart. Well, let's just keep driving then. Uh, I was uh, complaining early on about the lack of play cards because, you know, it's kind of the aim of the game. And now there is nothing but play heart to be found. Hamster, cover us. Sure sounds like he's covering out there. It's quite an advantage bringing uh, another survivor with you. They'll keep your back. And the AI makes a lot less noise when they pull the trigger on their gun. I mean, some guns are just so loud that that's not going to make a difference, but it's still... It's still lower than what you would have if you pulled the trigger yourself. Especially on these increased difficulty modes. Alright, good job. Let's keep going. What makes a good character in this game, Jake? I'm thoroughly unfamiliar with it. Anything that gives a bonus to the whole base is good, because no matter how good you make one character, in a, in a setup where you have like five or more characters, you're not playing as that one person very often. Whereas everybody is always needing somewhere to sleep, needing food to eat, using meds. So you want things that help out the whole base. So good things in my view are uh, big boosts to morale, big boosts to everybody's health or stamina. And no, plus five stamina is not big when you have base 100. Uh, anything that gives resources. Like an ology gives plus meds, um, uh, fishing gives extra food, and you have traits that give extra ammo, stuff like that. Those are great. Because even when you're not actively using the character, you get uh, a nice boost out of them. Whereas when you have these two troublemakers, and they really are troublemakers, they start fights with other people. Uh, and then you have the glutton, uh, Laser Kiwi, who eats more food than anyone else. Yeah, awful. And this isn't 
uh, the kind of game where it's like, oh, you know, that's just part of it. No, if, if you're playing this game, you will chuck those survivors out because you need the cream of the crop. But that's not what we've got here. We've got two losers and we're going to find which of the two is the bigger loser. That said, though, who knows? They might defy all odds and refuse to die. If that's the case, I'm going to make them take on a plague heart, and that will definitely kill one of them and probably kill both of them. We don't have what it takes to take down a plague heart. But I'm just laying it out early on. My objective is to kill one of these two, but I will not intentionally kill either of them. That might not sound like it makes sense, and maybe it doesn't, but it's what we're doing. Plus, it just seems like such an unlikely pair. Oh my god, I forgot that that hurts to fall down from. Let's chug the painkillers. <laughs> Walk it off. Seems like a really unlikely pairing, doesn't it? Um, Illustrajon and Integral Hamster. Hamster doesn't like it when you say he hates everything, but let's be honest, he doesn't like many things. Oh, well, I doubt he likes um, ferals, so let's keep moving. But really, the two have more in common than you might think. They're both horrible, sadistic people. It's just that John doesn't show it quite so much. After all, John did make those Caesar 3 maps. Whoa, now this is quite a nice haul already, and we've only checked one of these parts so far. Makes sense to me, Jake. I rarely take actions towards achieving my goals. I see. Alright, so far so not bad. The hauling is uh, quite good, at least so far. You need a lot of materials in this game, and by god, you need a lot of influence on this mod. Influence is in the, uh... The resource. When I see sitting in the back of a truck like that, I'm reminded of riding around on the back of a tractor in my childhood. All right, let's go say hello to the neighbors. The zombies don't pursue you that far. As long as you get some good distance on them, you're all right. Which is why a car can be so invaluable. Hello, friends. Oh, I forgot the fuel. Obtain a rucksack of fuel, but I don't think it gives you a clue as to where you could find it. Nope. But that's why we brought it. Since fuel sacks are worth so little in this game, it proportionally makes these missions feel a lot better. Cool, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. See you. Now, they are friendly with us, but friendly is not allied, so they're not going to get anything nice for us just yet. They got anything good, though? All right, then. Seems like we're working pretty hard to get ourselves here. Trade with Enclave. All right, then. Ooh, a set of free weights. Sure, why not? A countertop oven. Gain the ability to use a little food for a long morale boost. I've never seen the microwave oven before, but I don't think I'm about to try it out now. Was someone in the base moaning? God, we are miserable buggers, aren't we? Right, the farm, the farm, the farm, the farm. Install a compost bin. Because, my God, the food situation's getting worse by the minute. Also, let's fix the kitchen. Just in case we need to do something desperate like um, rationing. Very low on materials, but at least we have some back home. And we've done quite a bit with uh, John here. We're going to switch to Hamster and keep going. Set our rifle to single fire because I only ever need one shot. It's a little unfair to always just play as one of them because I'm so good at the game that whoever I'm controlling is always going to survive. There are some advantages that the AI have. Oh man, that feral's doing a good job of... Oh jeez, that's bloater gas? Oh boy. I didn't see a bloater there. Ooh, oh boy. A little, little bit of a hand here. Oh no! Ha 
<laughs> well, that didn't last long. Okay. Well, I don't know why, but uh, John has been teleported back to base. Actually, I really don't know why. And our car is uh, a while away. Hmm. I expected that to go on for a lot longer than it did. Okay, that's uh, that's really very bad. That's really very, very bad. And didn't last anywhere near as long as I thought it would. I thought we'd make it all the way to uh, sieging down a plague heart. But oh well, at least John is the one that had the Molotovs and the firecrackers on him. And it's his job to go and get the car back. Yeah, John, it does mean you win. Right. Uh, you're going to win chugging a bottle of painkillers. I'd hate to give you a first aid kit for this. I won't. I'm going to give you an energy kit and a flashbang. And you know how this works. You've got a long way to go. Mm, making you carry that shotgun's probably not great. But you've got to go. One kilometer that direction. Off you trot. Hey, I see a screamer. As long as it's not a feral, we're okay. And even if it is a feral, you've got a shotgun. What? Where did that uh, bloater come from? I thought there was one regular zombie and one feral there, so I was trying to run them over, and then suddenly there was a big kaboom. It was there the whole time, Jake. Ah, there we go. Was it wandering or uh, laying on the ground? It was a regular bloater, so I find those a lot harder to see than the big ones. Still, I went and got hamster killed about, well, honestly, hours earlier than I thought I would. I was expecting him to last a lot longer. But he did have the M4A1, which I didn't want to lose. It was the zombie that you thought was a normal one. Really? I, I am surprised by that. Another thing I'm surprised about in this game is that even if you run out of stamina, you can still run, I think, just as fast as if you had stamina again. There's no real downside to running out of it, except you can't swing a melee weapon so well. I would have survived longer if you weren't controlling me, says Hamster. Yep. Ifs and buts. Mm, no. Get that cardio in, man. Get that cardio in. It's rule one. Jake, don't you get sleepy faster or something if you run with no stamina? Oh, maybe. I heard something I don't like. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, feral. Let's hope it didn't notice us. It's uh, it's just prowling about, not towards us. Okay, great. Still great, as long as it's not popping over towards us. Yeah, I think it's. I think we managed to give it the wee run around there. Well, we did put down the bloater. Alright. Not bad, John. You can run a kilometer faster than I thought you bollocks. Keep on going, man. Keep on going. Oh, what if the feral's still here? Well, then someone else is going to have to make the pilgrimage. Seems like we're working pretty hard to get ourselves killed. 
Laser Kiwis have frustrated due to low morale. <laughs> Probably because somebody died. Alright. Well, don't worry. Hamster, old buddy, old pal. We'll put your gun to better use than we put you. Why don't you keep opening your mouth, Jake? Every time you do it, it causes suffering. <laughs> Not for me, though. Try to consider my needs a bit. Uh, you know, maybe I could have given you that first aid back at the base, but... Yeah. Well, let's try and look at the positives of this guy still being alive. Oh, we get to add another grave to our gravestone collection. But he'll boost morale when he becomes a hero. And if we ever have a lounge, his painting ability is going to make that better. Otherwise, he will start conflicts with others because he's sadistic. He's a little less walking cancer than Hamster was. <laughs> Feels nice saying Hamster was in past tense. Can get used to that. Alright. Maybe. Oh, what's, what's our stuff going on? Offer to join and back up buddy. You're in a great situation to offer somebody back up right now, John. So hop to it. Oh god, the feral's still there. It will insta-kill John. So let's just put this thing out of its misery. Get in the almost upright car. And skedaddle. Yeah, did good, John. This is what I mean by whatever floats to the top. Ah, the vision is so obscured by this. Maybe we could stop in here for some... Hey, is that our old car? It is! Cool. Tonk. Now, now, John. Just because you're on your bloody last legs doesn't mean that we're going to pass by any opportunities here. He's so slow, though, he's not going to be able to do any cool uh, dodge and insta-kill on zombies. He can do one or the other, but not both. One health is more than enough to keep you alive. Actually, it's precisely enough. It's not more than anything. Yeah, okay. That's, a good find. That's a very good find. But not unexpected. Pop it in. Pop in the rest of this stuff as well. If you die, I don't want to lose all this stuff. Uh, nah. One one hit will kill you, so drop the flashbang. Hell, drop the drop most of these as well. Don't want to, don't want to invest too much in a man who's about to die. That's why I've given him our crummy shotgun. <laughs> Poor John. Imagine thinking his trial was over. <laughs> I did say that he could return once one of them was dead. I did not list all the other specifications for his return alive. Just imagining Hamster stomping his feet on the ground right now. Why me? Why do you have to kill me off? He monologues to himself. And John does much the same. It's like, why me? Why do I still have to live? But that was much more the kind of outcome I was expecting on this. And that said, it was an amateur way to die. I should have noticed the bloater. I'm going to have to rewatch the VOD and figure out why I didn't notice it. He did somehow return. There was no rule against not instantly sending him out again. Ah. There are a lot of rules that I don't make. It's okay, Dark Young clipped it. Oh, I'll be re-watching that. It's alright, though, because uh, it's part of what I really like about doing these campaigns where I use chat participants as the guinea pigs here. Because it allows me to reflect my own inadequacies onto them. It's like, obviously I didn't get them killed, they got themselves killed. It's a good way of coping for me. Okay, nice little find there. There's a lot to be explored here. But the risk is enormous, so let's go and explore it. This is the best base on the map, the lumber mill. It's it's really terrific, but it's more expensive than we could manage. So we won't be taking it, but I want to scope out the area. We're going to climb up a mast here. 
I haven't seen any juggernauts so far, and trust me, I'm very okay with that. They're not the most dangerous enemy in the game, that is, obviously, Tonk Tonk, uh, the Feral, specifically the Plague Feral. But, juggernauts have their charm. Are they after me? Uh, kind of yes, kind of no. At the very least, the shotgun should be pretty good at uh, keeping us alive from threats for a short while. Specifically until we pull the trigger five times, then we're on nothing but fumes. We all gonna find anything here. I'll be the judge of that, John. Oh, the glutton is very much still alive. In fact, there we go. I'm going to add one food as compost and uh, generate more food. Unfortunately, generating food is still not going to do something about the fact that we don't have enough food. But I'm just trying to do something to keep these gluttons at bay. Actually, killing off Hamster was a great move for that. Since he died so early, he didn't even get a meal. Huh. That's pretty clever, isn't it? That's a Swine and Bovine Express. Hardware store. I need to take over one of those, but the cost is immense. 3,000 um, influence and 10 materials, but it delivers huge returns. You can generate materials from them in this mod. I think it costs labor. Which is bad, because one thing Hamster was was dumb labor. I'm sure we're missing something. Must be a question mark out there. Military truck. Isn't that our military truck? There's got to be a question mark out there somewhere. Come on, this place won't be ticked off until we find everything. Okay, good. There's a lot down here, and it's a lot that we could pick through. But doing it now, probably not the brightest thing I could do. That said, if there's potential food in any of these, God, do we need food. Swine and Bovine has food. What do you think, John? You feeling lucky? It's going to take some luck to keep you alive here. One hit and you're going to be downed, and if there's more than one zombie around you when you're downed, you are going to die. Even if there's one, your odds aren't good. What's your plan in the event that the survivor threatens to leave? Um, I'll try and make them stay, of course, but I will strip them of all their earthly belongings, and if the opportunity arises, shoot them in the head. Gotta send a message to all the other survivors, after all. Come on, John. While you're out here, we gotta make the most of it. That said, though, there are some survivors out there that are waiting to hear from us. I'm feeling in pain, Jake. Why don't we find out just how in pain poor John is right now? Not only is he a tortured artist, he has trauma, an infected bite, a flesh wound, gas inhalation, and scrapes, and his lungs are coated with gas. That's really unfortunate for you. Oh, nice. The, uh, the homestead has been repaired. Ooh, toolbox. Speaking of repairing. Ah, the place isn't looking too bad. We could even rebuild our workshop if we felt like it. I'd rather have some hydroponics. We need water, power, and utilities. We don't have any of those things. Uh, there's something else here. There we go. Laser Kiwi moaning about being unhappy, yet he's one of the people actively sleeping on a bed. <laughs> Not everybody gets to sleep in a bed, but I remember you there, young, when Laser Kiwi was out clearing a 50 zombie infestation, and you said, Oh, I'm glad I'm resting in my wee bed. I laughed. And then I laughed again when I rewatched the VOD, and I did rewatch the VOD. 
It's part of the reason I didn't have the long play vote ready to rock and roll after the weekly one shot. Hey, I don't see any more zombies. That that didn't save hamster. Water? Power? Thought this was supposed to be a post-apocalyptic uh, simulator, not a resort simulator. <laughs> Indeed. Getting either of those things is very expensive, and I believe labor-intensive as well. So we're unlikely to have base-wide power for a very long time. Oh, by the way, I'm going to gas up the um, the fuel tank, which sounds worse than it is. And then we're going to be able to pump out the fuel. It's going to cost 200 parts, but that's okay. A very good exchange to get 15 fuel. And massive fuel storage. Although that's far less important. Oh, boosted the yields on the food. We now gain food per day, because we doubled the output of the farm. Not really since it cost one food to do that, but getting six food per day off of one building was worth tearing down the auto shop for. If I wanted to rebuild the auto shop, it would come at a huge cost of uh, building materials, but so be it, we needed the food. We needed it badly. Pump station, big old fuel tank. No, we need to do the swine and bovine. You know, I bet John would really like some medicine right now, and it just happens that the old town pharmacy is right next to the swine and bovine. You can do it, John. Everybody on the team believes in you. Uh, there's a few zombies roaming about, and they're about to notice me. How am I going to play this? Uh, it's a feral. Hey, you watched a feral kill uh, kill hamster, so at least you're familiar with it. Where's that feral at? That is not something I can allow to live if I'm going to be uh, searching through these places. Come on, feral. You want some of this? You really want some of this? There you go. Damn it, there's no back door. Which means only one way in and one way out. You feeling lucky, John? No, oh, wait, no, we've been over this. He feels in pain. Looks relatively free of zombies, though. It's not a bad find, but I'm looking for medicine for John here. Granted, there's a lot of medicine inside this rucksack, but let's be reasonable here. The rucksack is not for John. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We will be able to weather it just fine, but I still need to go back for it. It's a good source of uh, influence. Oh, come on. Last chance for some drugs. Hey, nothing. Okay, that's bad. There is a... Uh, um, that's bad. Okay. We need to get out of here. Oh, but I still want the food from the swine and bovine. Not even a single jar of painkillers inside there. That's unusual and bad. Influence is essentially money. Hey, I don't see any more zombies. Yeah, I figured being Slavic hamster would be fine for this with all the squatting that we do here, but no. You got any Slavic roots going there, John? Because you're pulling it off just fine. Work in the glutes. Okay, loads of parts, no medicine. We've got to go, but I really want to check the swine and bovine. I need food. Did you get rid of Euristo already? Absolutely. At this rate, 
Ilstra John's going to be a an honorary member of the Brexit boys. Good, our reckless driving around here has uh, driven the zombies away. So it should be a, a free check out of the swine and bovine. Any zombies in here? I'm actually going to check this time instead of just run in and hope. Hey, I don't see any more zombies. Good. Four places to check here and then we're out of here for real. <laughs> He's looking more temporary than honorary. Nice 15 extra fuel from uh, checking out that fuel pump. And finally, a rucksack of food. We've been waiting on one of these for a long time. We're running out of time, though. We've got to help the home and check those two other... Oh, my God, he's got it! Ah, There we go. Quick bandage, and he's ready to go with about two-fifths of his health. Get that in there and get moving. Oh god, we've not got a lot of time here. Go, 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 go. We got six minutes to clear the entire map. Oh, that's a juggy! That was a plague juggy. Aunt Cora's bug out vehicle has expired, but it'll be back. Those those kind of personal missions always come back. We're going the right way. Next left. Tonk. 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 This is a dangerous speed to go if there's a bloater out there. Okay, let's go be these guys back up, buddy. Although I'm not at all going to do what they want. I just want to bring them over for our own... Uh... No time for the door. What do you need? Yeah, sure, come on. Get in the freaking car. Where is she? Bigger time pressure here than Dead Rising. And this time I don't have Greg to take the flak for me. Also, the car is smoking here. We're going to need to fix it eventually. Oh god, the home's a kilometer away. We've got to put the pedal down. This heap can move. Okay, now... Something that happens with the soldiers is if you don't help them, or you get one of them killed, they will offer to join. Unfortunately, I'm not interested, so too bad. The reason I still went over to say no to them, even though that's going to uh, disband the Enclave, is uh, I got 100 influence just for completing the mission, and we need a lot of influence. And we're going to get more if we defend our base. So we've got to zoom on back for that. This whole situation is something that gets criticized in the game a lot. The, the time limit on it is really stressful. Missions keep appearing, which is fine. It's good to have lots of things to do. But they do not stick around for long, especially in a game that really encourages you to not go in all guns blazing. Because you don't tend to have the ammo or the life for that. Still... John has got to earn his keep here because he's a bit of a sadistic bastard. Definitely not a normal zombie over there. Don't care. Need to protect home. Now this should be even easier than the last one because we're even better armed than last time and we have a better uh, position to defend from. Still don't let's... Oh, I don't... did I not park this right again? Strange. Come on, I don't have a lot of time for this. 
There we go. That was a good haul. And really, what did we trade for it? We traded the life of somebody that was extremely detrimental to the team. I'd say, good job, well played. Let's carry some extra 12 gauge shells. Oh, you can stack one extra. John's standing actually went up a reasonable amount for such a short period of time. And although the homestead is depressed, it's mostly because we really miss Hamster. Do we? Do we really miss Hamster? <laughs> Callum and Laser do. John definitely doesn't. That's quite funny. I gave up on tracking down my survivalist ant. Callum is unhappy. I hope that mission comes back. Dark Young doesn't get a bed. The infestations are around. Okay, so what we can do to make people a lot happier is to kill... Uh, a special infected, well, a feral. Oh, and look, there's a feral. That's a really terrible, terrible idea. Hmm. You know what, let's have some beds. Just build them during the siege. This should be easy. It's still early on in the game, there aren't a lot of us. And this comes with a built-in decent watchtower. I mean, Jinx, Laser Kiwi's on fire with that gun. I'm not sure if he's hitting anything, but he sure likes firing it. Ah, there we go, there's a feral. Sadly, though, we don't get the bonus unless uh, the person we're controlling kills it. I'll make an effort to go and kill it, but maybe not with John. I feel bad because I've been talking up the sieges, but these have been a joke so far. I think the mod actually does a better job of ramping up the difficulty than the base game. Right. There was a feral there. Come get some. Oh, wow. Come on. Get over here. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, less nice. There's another one. Well, that's my friend's problem. When you crouch, any of your followers crouch, so that can really screw them over if they're trying to run back to your base. Uh, speaking of screwing us over, let's not just let them in. We have a door. Alright, that's fine. You did good, and I reckon that you're going to be getting real tired soon. So let's let, let's let the survivor rest his little head. Uh, maybe give him a half-decent gun. Ah, he likes the shotgun. He can keep the shotgun. Get himself tucked away into Betty Buys and. Laser Kiwi doesn't have a lot of standing. But his seminars are really good. We're going for it, Kiwi. Oh! Kiwi has a mission as well. Uh, no, Callum has the mission. Alright, well, Callum, you're up. This is oddly pragmatic for you, Callum. Still, if Callum's going to be doing that, Callum is going to take a light crossbow and light crossbow bolts, an energy drink, uh, three rolls of firecrackers, and three molotovs. And by three, I mean six, and oh, okay, eleven. Yeah, four and four should be fine. Uh, so I need to clear out some infestations, and we need to give back up to... what? I don't actually know why we need to do either of those things, but... Let's get to it, I guess. 
It's a lot of work to do. They didn't have infestations in Spain. Of course not. Callum was there all the time. He loves to talk about it. Let's fix up this hunk of junk first, though. The engine steaming is a great early indicator that you should repair your uh, vehicle. After that, it becomes smoking. After that, it goes on fire. And if it goes on to a bigger fire from that, then it's going to explode after a short period of time. It's the end of Callum's siesta. This game makes me want to do in-game stats again. Hey! It's our stat master from Xenonauts. Those are some damn good stats. Oh, right. Can I trade with you? Oh, I want those materials. I'm having those materials. Nine mil rounds tempt me, but not enough. Did you really, though? Uh, this is a good opportunity to sell anything we have for extra everything. So these crappy backpacks, the that booze, uh, a water cooler. We have a secured case. Cool. And uh, a lot more chemicals. Anything else worth selling? I like to sell strong painkillers, but not when I have so few of them. Oh yeah, I can sell these snacks. What do you need? I need you to give me your okay. money. Snacks barely sell for anything, but there's no use for them. I got some stuff to trade. Okay. So, rather get three influence per bag of snacks than anything else. Screwdriver, K-bar, uh, chef knife, chef knife, chef knife. Some of these big weapons might be good for taking down. Um, for taking down play cards, so I'm considering my options here. I think it checks for lethality, so I'll destroy it. I'll sell off anything that doesn't have good lethality. Paltry amounts that we're getting here, but could be worse. Hog splitter's probably fine. And the Bowie machete's kind of crap. What a trade. Why not? There we go. What do you hmm? need? I think I missed one. Let's do some business. I didn't. Sure. Right, let's do it then. Mysterious Wandering Trader. I don't know what to sell. Usually it's good stuff, but I need to save my influence anyway. Of which we only have a thousand, and I need three thousand to get... Uh, a hardware store that I really want. Jake, I really enjoyed watching you sink your teeth in Dominions. Me too. I really regret saying, oh, I'm not going to play this for at least a few months because I kind of want to play more of it. Well, we'll see what transpires. Okay, infestation or backup, buddy? I think we'll deal with the infestation. But... That's a bloater. We don't like bloaters. He blended in really well with the rest of the zombies. I can totally see now how I missed him before. See that? That's a plague bloater. Can see him a mile away because he's got that big red belly. And the color red doesn't really blend into anything in the game. Certainly doesn't go into the asphalt nor the grass. I guess the closest thing it can blend into is the rolling mountainous terrain that kind of looks like Arizona. Drucker County, I think it is. Okay. It's actually probably a terrible idea to bring the survivor with me here, but if she dies, at least I can steal her stuff. Again, pragmatism. So infestations are dialed up to quite a degree in this one. There are 50 zombies inside that one toilet. Maybe I should have brought more Molotovs. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to actually not do anything. They're making their own noise, and for that they burn. Well, that's a good start, but there are still many, many more of them for some reason. Oh god, there are a lot of them. Let's hope they haven't noticed us.
I needed more Molotovs. Okay, and that is why fire is good. Let me tell you why fire is not good though. It does nothing to plague ferals or juggernauts. <laughs> the house should not be standing anymore. It's not a house, it's a toilet. Or, or, or a rest room. Doesn't make any sense to me. You wouldn't rest in a rest room, surely? Fat bastard's too far away from my crossbow. There we go. Nicely done, Callum. Succeeded in your mission, cleared out an infestation, and a ton of plague samples to boot. It's actually not a lot of plague samples, but the drop rate is so low that I'm willing to take that. And there's another infestation to work on, because what we did there was we actually cleared out most of the zombies from another infestation. But Callum's going to have to shoot fast. Real fast. Because there are two of them. And if they notice that I'm killing them... Oh, that was a terrible miss. That was a much better miss. Shut your trap. That could have been a problem, though. Something might have spawned. Take a step back. Observe the situation. One... I can't believe Laser Kiwi is still not happier with us right now. We must have raised morale by now. Where's the last zombie? Ah, oh, fat bastard alert. I can't believe our wayward journeyer Callum here is so incredibly competent. Clearing out infest... Shoot! No time to pat ourselves on the back. That was a plague feral. <laughs> you have fun with that if you want. I am gone. Oh, that's a juggernaut! Bye-bye. I guess I'm not... Too heartless. Get in the freaking car. Oh, she's dead. This is also an infestation, but I've already used all of my... Uh, already used all of my Molotovs. Oh! We have a... An outpost here. One thing I didn't mention about outposts is that you have access to all of your... All of your supplies through a magical interlinked supply locker here. So we can take care of the... I have so few Molotovs. Alright, firebombs it is. Oh nice, our friend is hobbling her way over here. I should really take care of that infestation whilst I'm in the neighborhood though. Yeah, it's got to be done. I hate to say it, and I do hate to say it, but let's do it. Come on, Count. Do it like you did in Madrid. Count doesn't even have a good gun, a uh, good weapon, does he? No, he's got a parang. Parang's not bad. Whoa, where would these guys come from? Oh, you. No. What is she rocking? Was anybody able to tell what that gun was from listening to it? I don't know, maybe gun nerds can do that. Uh, the infestation's close, but not so close that I'm not going to drive to it. She didn't kill a juggernaut or a feral, but something about this game is... And this kind of ruins the immersion when you realize it, but... The zombies only really spawn, and action only really happens within about a 100 to 200 meter radius of your character. So if you drive away from any situation, then things just stop happening. Zombies despawn, 
Uh, and even things that uh, are persistent, like juggernauts, they're just kind of standing there. The action doesn't happen. So, nicely done, nicely done. So you don't have to worry so much. For some reason, that action cleared out what was ever, whatever was in the base there. So, not going to complain, I'm just going to leg it. I feel like it was a good technical reason for that. Oh, doubtlessly. Ah, oh, God, not a... There we go. One fewer feral. But also... A while back we go. Ah. Yeah, it, it's really noticeable on multiplayer. If you stay about 100 meters away from the host, no zombies are going to spawn. Okay, one or two zombies may spawn, but that's it. It's really easy to uh, search for items that way, but it's so disappointing. Like, I want this to be packed with zombies that are making my life actively hell. I don't want this to be some walk in the park. That's why I'm playing with increased difficulty mod. Where, where are we meant to be going? Oh, not here, that's for sure. It was a bloater. Maybe he didn't follow us over there. But hey, State of Decay 3 has been announced, so here's hoping that things get even more impressive on that front. Okay, what's the situation here? Well, there's a Plague Heart right next to us, and I can see zombies prowling around, so that's a bad start. Let's have that Molotov handy. Okay. Now where's that Plague Heart hiding? We're being followed. Was that truly my imagination? No, it was not. Ah, oh, man, he got up. I don't want you roaring and bringing more friends over here, so... Oh, okay, just pull the trigger then. I don't know what this is all about. Hopefully you're not trying to look for something and I have to cover you. Defend her while she- No! No! Oh. Okay. I thought this event spawned zombies. If it doesn't though, this is fine. Spawned zombie like we're playing uh, Dead Rising for the Wii. It's not how that guy causes any troubles either. Huh. Well, things go a lot smoothly when you don't make a ton of noise then. I am surprised and impressed in equal measure. Once I had a juggernaut spawn on that mission like that, yeah, I would just leave. Not worth it. I, maybe if I was carrying a 50 cal, no problem, but I'm not. I could be wrong on this, but from my experience, crossbow bolts don't hurt juggernauts at all. I stood on top of a, uh, a shipping crate, and I shot well over a hundred crossbow bolts into the face of a juggernaut that I had already softened up with explosives and he didn't not die, he didn't even flinch. Oh, Illustra John's spreading his good cheer around. People are happy. Amazing. Well, Dark Young's ecstatic because he has not one but two gardens. Oh, and everybody has a bed now. It's amazing what... Uh... It's amazing what happens when you get rid of hamster. Uh, this is not the way to your base. Where's your base? Over there. Don't set off the undead. Pretty hard to do. <laughs> That's a bed now. The hamster sure got a bed, but he's eating dirt. Oh, 
honestly, he doesn't deserve that. But it's still funny. Alright, enjoy. That was very helpful. Now, give me some goods for it. Or don't. I can still threaten them, but I won't. Let's do some business. Why not? All they have is the crap that I sold them and the initial stuff that I wasn't interested in, so too bad. Okay, they'll go allied to us later on. The hard noses, are they going to do anything? I don't know. Um, right. Talk to Caleb about the theft. He's from the Rousey Routers. Where are the Rousey Routers? The looters, the blessed somethings, the nearbys, the hard noses. Oh my days, they're a while away. Oh, and I'm about to be as well if I don't haul ass here. Thanks for the help. Yeah, not only is Callum doing alright, he hasn't been hurt during this so far. Just what did he learn in Spain? Could you now? Keep going. Right at the end of the road. <laughs> Probably Spanish. No, no, this is Calm we're talking about. He wouldn't learn Spanish if his life depended on it. So those hard noses are after some meds from us. I do not mind giving them some meds. Mind this neighborhood though, these roads are chock full of horrors. Be handy if I found somewhere around here that generated meds. Oh, that's none of these places. Oh, we already grabbed from the old town pharmacy, didn't we? That's a shame. Maybe these people sell medicine, but that's not really a good trade. Alright. If I'm going to help these people, I might as well make it worth my while. They'll clean out the neighborhood for me. And I'll just park myself over here and enjoy the show. I hear a lot of tussling going on there. <laughs> there was a comment that I didn't notice until I watched the VODs, but somebody said, Yeah, Callum hasn't washed his clothes since he went to Spain either. Sounds brutal in there. How's it going? Oh, there are only two of them. Well, if I'd known that, I wouldn't have invited the neighborhood to you. I guess I'll help then. So somebody has stolen from this group. Caleb's the one with a gun, right? Great, then I'm going to fast search here. I love how that seemingly useless trait has become a trademark of the run. It is useless. But it does make him say, Oh my god, Callum maxed out his wits. And his shooting. Oh my. Uh, assault then. And stealth. Did anybody else max something out? No. Oh, damn. Look what's rising to the top. Let's make a deal. Okay. Ooh, I like materials. I take materials. I also take those Molotovs. I'm tempted to get those 12 gauge shells as well, but there aren't many of them. I'll sell this bottle of conditioner that I found in your own base, and this bag of snacks. I think I've picked your home clean now. No, not quite. Empty. Ah. What a bummer. Oh god, I thought you were a zombie. Alright, Deshaun. 
take care. Hmm. They really like slodging. Alright, into the trunk with all this uh, nonsense. Keep the fuel bombs. Right, where's the problem? Oh man, this is going further and further away from our base. Uh... Alright, but I want to check out the sites from that billboard first, because there could be stuff around here that we don't notice. Let's go then. Oh, if this turns into a firefight, Callum's dead. Or at the very least not likely to come away from it unscathed. Crossbows are great for many things, but there are two things they're bad at. One is a lot of sustained firing. Of course, you probably don't need me to tell you that. But uh, also, they're terrible in a firefight. They just don't deal the damage that you need against humans. Come on, come on. Ah, there we go. Now, doing that can really ding up your vehicle, but I think it's worth it to clear out... Um, to clear out the ferals. Ferals are relatively persistent. If you drive past uh, a feral around here, it's still going to be on the map. Maybe they eventually despawn, but in my experience, especially packs of them, hang around. Well, Laser Kiwi's really happy. Did he get over his sulking? He did. He's no longer un unhappy. We're doing great on the morale. Unfortunately, it's time-based. The infestation being cleared, the raised spirits, the feral kill, those will go away, and then the irritations will set in once again because John likes to tease people. Well, I'm not so sure that it's teasing, maybe hazing, maybe castrating. That was a screamer. Let's take care of that before we go back down. That's enough scouting. Is it really there? Oh, it must be way down, because there's a bridge going on there. Are you sure he went to Spain, didn't reenact Tropic Thunder in the Spanish Philippines, where he got his parang? Listen, who really knows what Callum's been up to? Probably not even Callum. Shaggy Jack Expresso in a maintenance shed. Cover me, we're going in. from inside the coffee shack that's about four foot by two and a half foot and we can't even enter. The things you learn in Spain. Oh, here's a nice thing. Now that Callum's become a witty individual, wits is actually Spanish for glutes, obviously, because now he can run whilst he's slav squatting. actually pretty good at fast searching without uh, fumbling and triggering the horde as well. Uh, I also quite want to check out that. So much for this place. Good lord, he's even got his cardio up. Well, time for marathon. Sprinting costs less stamina, fatigue accrues more slowly. Great. Can't wait for Calm to die. He'll be a huge loss. Not, not just being a good character, but he also knows recycling, which is generating quite a lot of goods for us. Two building materials per day. Okay, that's 150 meters of feral bait. Let's take the car. There is a bloater over there, but he's taking a lie down, so he's not going to bother us. Oh, you idiot. Okay, good thing he's an AI and that, uh, that shockwave doesn't go out for miles around. Mm, it's a little too risky to fast search around here. Yeah, recycling is a fantastic trait. thing about Callum, though, is he's played the game. He knows what's good and bad. Most of the people that made characters don't. 
I don't mind that though, I'll take whatever crap I get and just make it work. It's what we're doing with John and it's what we did with Hamster. And it's what we've surprisingly managed to do with Laser Kiwi. Uh, whatever I just found, I'm going to sell to you here and now. Okay. The DVD of Ghost Teen. Madison is still haunted by love in the sequel to He Doesn't Know I Exist. Sure. <clears throat> Alright. The Gutting Knives. A dangerous group of thieves. Again, Callum is not cut out for this, but in he goes. We were just talking about how funny it'll be when Callum dies. You say that, Jake, and yet my kleptomaniac bagpipe huge jerk was... You knew what you were doing and it was all bad. Speaking of all bad... Oh, well, that's everyone in the neighborhood alert. Oh my god! <laughs> you know what? Maybe they can keep the meds. Mmm. I don't see any ferals or anything. Whoops. Whoop. I think I scrolled the chat somehow there. Uh. Ah, crap. Get off of my car! Right, you have got to go. Tonk. I wonder how many survivors there are here. Three of them, but they made short work of the zombies. Which means they could probably make short work of us, so let's keep the car in ready-to-roll mode. Hmm, sounds like some dying is going on inside here. Ah, they're holding out alright, actually. But this tells me they have gun. They also have the stolen meds. I got nothing to say to you. Kemet does all the talking. Will you trade with me? Oh, they'll trade me some, uh, some meds. That's quite nice. You must be here for our meds. Forget it. We're keeping them. Let's attempt some peace with them, shall we? Oh, well, my god, Callum's even a master of charisma? This must be some kind of power trip for him. Oh no! It was a trap! Oh no, not you too. It was all a trap! Tonk! The setup! Okay, this is stupid, but I'm not actually sure this hurts survivors. I'm afraid it's time for you to be shown the door. Huh. Well, it must be hurting her, because it is uh, bringing her down to the ground. Where'd, where'd all your friends go? I don't know, but a bloater just spawned nearby. You know what? This ain't worth it. This ain't worth it. They killed our friend, but... Uh-oh. No, I have to kill them for the mission. Ah, oh, that's bad. The only saving grace is that I have this big vehicle, but the downside to that is, uh... If a bloater's nearby, they're gonna cane me whilst I'm in this vehicle. She seems to be grabbing herself like she's in some kind of pain. Can help you with that. There we go, one of them's dead. Oh, and she's turning as well. Well, let's prevent that. I'm sure glad we brought a military truck instead of some old lemon. I think it would be prudent for us to actually stop making noise. The zombies seem to be doing a good job on them. I think the best thing we can do is fuel up the car so we can make a healthy get- -a Oh no! There 
they still want me. They are more interested in killing me than the zombies. It's not too bad a thing, actually. This is still dangerous. If I get out of the car... I have an idea. I'm gonna use the car as a screen. And... Then I'm gonna notice all these screamers! Got this, one locked up. this is a bad idea. It's about as bad as ideas get. There we go, eat that. Let the zombies eat you. Ah, oh, come on, the zombies ain't going for them. Well, the zombies are going for that one, which is fine. I can't have these zombies around here. The screamers, that is. They've got to go. They can kill the car, by the way, by shooting at it. Oh, there's a bloater. That's also bad news. How many of them are left? Still two of them. <sighs> At least the bloater's going for them. That should do a good job in killing the one that remains. Go, 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 bloater, go! The hard noses need your help. Well, we haven't dealt with the hard noses, so it's not too big of a loss if they leave town for me ignoring them. The reason I'm keeping Callum in the car is... Uh, if Callum gets out of the car, these AIs can headshot him pretty easily. I was hoping the zombies would do a bit better at killing these guys, but... Uh-oh, this car is about to go. I need to get out and repair it. Maybe I can hide around this side. Out of sight, out of mind. I just heard a feral! You know what, if that feral could help me by killing the thieves... Oh wow, I didn't think it would really do it. Oh no, 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 now it wants me again. Oh, this is so not worth Callum's life! And again, this truck ain't made of fuel. Can't believe the survivors are still alive here. This is not good for us. Okay, another one of them has died. Oh, that one's there dealing with another feral. Again, not made of fuel here. Tonk. Oh, would you just die already? Uh oh, bloaters on me. He's dying, he's dying, he. Oh, the. Feral gave up on him and is going for me now. <sighs> you know what, at this point, I'd rather this Feral was just dead. But also at this point, it's quite easy for this car of ours to die. Oh, this car is going down. Just as long as the feral stays away from me for a little bit. Okay. Come on. Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. <gasps> okay. This has been expensive, but Callum's still alive. 
but so is the other guy. Damn neutrals. All I have are eight, nope, nine bolts to cope with the situation. And he is getting ravaged by zombies, but again, remember how good the AI was at shooting zombies? They are that good at shooting people as well. The best thing I could do is down him from here and let those zombies have their filthy way with him. Or, let's not forget who we are here. I could go and scavenge the items from the dead. Got plenty of fuel in the truck. Ditch that. Um, ditch that because we don't need to make a lot of noise where we are right now. And let's go on a harvesting run. There's our dead compadre at the front door. There's one dead guy at the back. I'm not sure he even has a gun. I'm sure he'd be using it if he has one and I haven't heard any gunfire for a while. So whilst he's busy with those, we'll go and grab what we can here. Well, we'll know if he has a gun. You know what? For legal reasons, the zombies can be the one to kill you. Oh, don't tell me they're not interested in me! Nailed the headshot and should have gone in for the kill, honestly. Come on, tough guy. Maybe the dead dropped a gun. Be an easier thing to kill him with. Nicely done, Callum, in cold blood. Wow, okay. There's double tap and then there's uh, scalping. Okay, that actually went as well as it could have gone. We took no damage, amazingly. Uh, we get to scavenge everyone's supplies, all the zombies are dead, and we can pick the area clean. Holy hell, that's heavy. I can't get that. You could try, Callum. I, sh I shouldn't actually into Callum at all anymore. He is carrying this team. I return bearing Tikka Masala. What did I miss? Callum is responsible for four human deaths now and is walking away with a fat stack of meds for it. Ooh, and a brand new shotgun. Let me just deposit all of this stuff. No, keep the drink. Always carry the energy drink. And because this area is cleaned out, there should be no zombies spawning inside this area. Although, again, they can wander in. Uh, the, the, the body's on the other side, Callum. Well, you do you. Callum's getting sleepy, though. He's been at this for a long time. Doesn't look like much here. <laughs> oh, hello. You know, so much for Callum never took any damage. Well, I could eat these snacks. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, he doesn't want to eat the snacks. He didn't actually take an injury from that attack, so it doesn't count. <clears throat> Any more dead bodies? Or have we searched all four of them? I feel like we've only searched three. But maybe one of them wandered off, or... Uh, that's unlikely. Yeah, there should be one more. Let's take a quick gander. Uh, a once around the place. The thing is, it could have, <coughs> excuse me, it could have gotten up um, if it died from zombie bites and that, and then God knows where it would have gone to. You would hope that it wandered around here and died, but don't know. It's even possible, albeit unlikely, that it just wandered off entirely. The map is keeping mum here. 
which means it's not telling. Mm, hold on, didn't we run one of them over to death here? I thought. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Don't think I didn't see you, sunshine! Die! You were about to jeopardize the whole operation. They don't call me Eagle Eye for nothing. They don't call me that at all. She died near the gazebo. Well, we already searched you. And we searched our friend at the front and the other guy that we killed. That means one body is evading justice. Five-fingered justice. And well, good for them. I'm not going to agonize over it. Oh yeah, there should only be three, because there were only two... No, there were three inside that, I can't remember. Doesn't matter. I'm quite certain that I've missed someone, but it really doesn't matter. We got the meds, and we got the shotgun. Okay, what now? We have some very bad news to deliver to the one remaining member of the Rowdy Upstarters. Now, if we can... Uh, uh, oh, uh, hmm... I'm going to say if we just don't smudge the return. I see that bloater. I avoid that bloater. Give him the suspension on this thing a real workout. So I really hope we don't get a very good bonus out of this enclave because there's... Well, it's not really going to do much for us now. With only one of them, they could easily accidentally die. Oh, grim. That is a grim burial. Don't let it groan. I'm not about to recruit them. He didn't make it, I found your meds, recruit them, or... It didn't go well! I'm sorry for your loss! I'm keeping the meds, though. Well, surprisingly, he's not gonna try and kill me. <laughs> and we got a lot of influence for it! And the guy buggered off. Well, I, I don't blame him. I would too. Yeah, I left the drugs in the car, but I was not going to hand it over to a... Uh, well, th this guy was just about to die. There was only one of him. There's a nice survey point right there, but I think Callum has been pressing his luck immeasurably. So... Hey, let's go and deliver the meds to these guys. There are five of them. They seem like people that will actually live. Unlike that guy, what was his name? Deshawny or something? Yeah, that's a plague feral that's probably about to kill Deshawny. Where am I going? I should have read the map. Next left. Better not screw around here if I want to avoid blood plague. Tonk. Ah. Uh... Thread that needle. <sighs> I would like to be able to disappoint, um, to get rid of that now entering pop up because it kind of blocks where I'm looking on the road. Maybe. We're going back to base anyway. We'll check it out. Whoa! That was some um, bloater gas on the road. A bloater... They do pop periodically. And uh, if I'd driven through that, Callum 
would have been in a much worse state. Oh, that's a bloater, that's a juggernaut, that's a screamer, and I'm pretty sure I saw a feral on the left. So let's just uh, lead them back to these guys. Hey guys, you need medicine? Well, you're really about to need medicine. Take this. Give me whatever. What do you have to trade? Material. Gracias, amigo. Gracias. Hey, we speak that language. Hey, hon. You're welcome to come in. Right, these guys aren't too bad to have friendly. There are five of them, and... Well, they're not meagerly armed, but I'm not seeing any hey, gun man. going on. I got some stuff to trade. Okay. I don't want to be spending all my resources on buying up materials, but you really need materials in this game, especially on this mod, so I'll buy it. I'll also sell any junk that I picked up and won't want back home. Which includes, but is not limited to, this shotgun. Not the bullets, though. Uh, this rucksack. This rusty screwdriver. More sword thing. That's These other rucksacks. The cleaver. Bag of snacks. Oh, there's quite a lot I want to sell, actually. Hey, buddy. I almost missed you. The amounts that they sell for are not great, but it really adds up. I don't know if that Model 80 is better than the other shotgun we have, but too bad. Selling it anyway. Selling guns is really bad. You get very low returns on it, but at the moment I really need to save up. You know what? I'll even sell the circuitry. And the wooden bat, and the other thing, and uh, chef knife. And we're good. Makes it look like a lot less of a haul that we're coming back with, but this was a good operation. Are you up for some trading? I got a lot of... well, we made a couple of friends. We got some resources out of it, and we got a lot of influence. All in all, fantastic. Jake's buddying up to the furries. We put a bullet in the brain of a furry whilst saying furries don't go to heaven last session. So I'm not sure where you're getting that from. Yeah, jeez. The roads are so thick of zombies that you're really taking attrition on the car when you drive around. I'm gonna have to break open a few fuel bags, I think, depending on the fuel situation at home, because I'm not comfortable running on such low uh, such low gas after last time. <laughs> Let's not veer into that plague bloater either. Bane Williams was asking how the cars handle in this game. They handle chunky, like, buses here, but in terms of driving cars, it's I'd say it's a good bit better than Grand Theft Auto 3, if I wanted to draw a comparison. No, Calm, you're returning, but nice try. Here's food, materials, materials, medicine, medicine, offensive everything, and let's fuel up the car. You take it out, you leave it how we want it. And there's Bane Williams. He's been around for a long time. He's part of the furniture, practically. Uh, I'm sure the dents and blood will buff right out. Okay, you did great, Callum, but you are knackered. So grab your favorite gun. What is Callum's favorite gun here, anyway? Sighted AK-47. Oh, no, the custom AK-47, complete with uh, professional break. That is Callum's jam. Sleeper cell PPK with advanced suppressor. That's very quiet. I wonder if we have an even quieter firearm. 
Maybe not, but it fires .22s, and that sounds kind of useful for somebody that's keeping a low profile. Alright, the farms are running good. We're actually making food. We're not making meds, but we have lots of them. Thanks to helping out an enclave, we are ammo neutral, because watchtowers consume ammo, but you get it in there. Callum is offsetting the farm's need for materials. I don't know, probably have to shred up bits of wood or something to, to lay down there. And we don't consume nor gain fuel. So our situation here is groovy. If we set up two med outposts, we would actually be resource neutral. Resource um, opposite of deficit, even. But that's not good enough. We need to grow. We need to have better defenses going along. And, well, I also want to be able to move site. But first, I need to grab a hardware store. And that's still another 1,300 influence away. I finally chose Faith over Return Radio. Boy, was that a mistake. Faith over Return Radio. Faith over Return Radio. Sorry, you lost me, Von Dougals. Hold on, Callum's meant to have a job that he's doing? Well, too bad. Someone else will see to the cry for help. Alright, whose turn is it to risk their lives? Nicely volunteered, Dark Young. Out you go. Oh, he's so close to being a hero. Right, you and your unfeasible gun there, with its Pringle tube full of ammo, are going to head out there and make me proud. Ratio, not radio. Ah. You mean on the weekly one shot? Well, that was a terrible mistake for you to make. Losing Dark Young means losing this amazing gun, so let's try not to lose him whilst he goes and does whatever this cry for help is. And I'd also like to search these areas. Hmm. Good to always carry a get out of jail free card, such as some Molotovs and some firecrackers. And a bandage. I would never normally give somebody a health restoration item, but the thing about Dark is that he takes uh, lower injuries than anybody else. That means that even if he gets mangled, he's unlikely to get something that uh, reduces his health long-term, like a trauma. So that means he's going to have a lot of health that can easily be recovered if he takes damage. So that makes packing a bandage a lot more bang for buck. Am I going the right way here? Uh, kind of. Ooh, not sure I like this. Oh, quite sure I don't like this. Uh, it's a feral. No amount of bandages are going to stop the insta-kill of a feral. Oh. Oh, this is where the distress call was. And where the distress is. Don't worry, Dark Young has the solution! You okay in there? Alright, that screaming has got to stop. <sighs> Tell me someone in here worth saving. Yeah, I'm working on it. Feral incoming. I hope it's not a plague feral. It isn't. There we go. Well, that's one way to have a barricade. Oh, 
All right, switch. Oh my god, are they gonna stop coming? Ah! What's up? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Wasn't aware you're playing Killing Floor now. This better be worth the 37 rounds that I... Oh, no. Zombie threat at home as well. Mm, she's going to come and help us with that first. I can actually use this. Ooh, do you trade? It's a little embarrassing to need rescue. Less talk, more safety. We've already picked this place clean. I want to check these two, get back to defend the home base. Not have that guy trigger another screen. Oh my days. I thought we'd cleaned out the entire vicinity here. Apparently not. Ace Kingley says hello there. Well, welcome. This stream is actually meant to start about an hour earlier than it did, but for some bizarre reason, I couldn't get the chat to show up on stream. Now, I've been streaming for years. I'm pretty good at making chat show up, but nothing I did made it work. But uh, rest restarting my PC did. Unfortunately, I've put that off for so long that actually restarting it took the guts of 40-odd minutes. We play as young for five minutes, and John says Jake just can't stop playing as young. What? No, it, we're not at huge siege territory yet. No way. Not with only four survivors, and not on day... what is it, day five? Probably. Okay, there was not a lot to pick up here. Not a lot at all, but hey... Travel size bar of soap and some falernum. Falernum. Should I know what that is? I got a question for you. I've never played this game. Do you think I should play number one or just play number two? If you like a more story based experience, then one is likely better for you, but number two just feels so much better to play. A lot more quality of life, everything handles better, more polish. I, I played uh, State of Decay 1 for a couple hours, maybe. I wasn't I wasn't in love with it. It was too janky, and I can handle quite a lot of jank. That doesn't sound too bad. Okay. <laughs> now, I know I said I'd take you back to your base, but what I meant was... Welcome to my base. Help me out with this. Oh, she doesn't even have a gun. We're gonna need something big to take that bastard down. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, well, on you go, Missy! On you go! Fortunately, it's not a plague juggernaut, but it's still a juggernaut. Thankfully, we have Laser Kiwi with the um, with the Magnum gun, the gun that won the West, right? Mine, 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 mine! Die! Dark young big bugger not killer at your service. Okay, but seriously, the the siege hasn't even started yet. Especially after that, I don't think it's going to be a particularly big siege. <sighs> Taking down a juggernaut's a great way to improve standing, though. Shit. Are attacking our place. Calm down, John. Calm down. You still just have a shotgun, don't you? Well, that's disappointing. Given the zombies that we just massacred, 
both around our base and over by that rickety old shed. I don't think there's a lot left to even kill. <laughs> Wait, your group's called the Hack Jobs? I wonder what it's like in Vegas now. I bet there are all casinos full of corpses. And all the money just running around. Yeah, these sieges are jokes. They won't be forever, though. Okay, on top of that, Darkhyun didn't take any damage when he was out there, so that was kind of money for nothing. The big sieges can be a great way to get a lot of plague samples, but it can also be a great way to get a lot of plague, so... And it's, it's not really down to your own skill, the AIs will do what the A... Where are we going? Okay, I see. I also see that bloater. Give it another wide berth. Might not look like it blends in with the asphalt that much, but when you're driving around focusing on everything around you, yeah, you can skim past a bloater very easily. Alright, welcome home. This could actually be a base of ours, but it doesn't really cry out to me. Oh man, are these the weirdos? I think they are. Hey. Let's help each other out. That can be good and bad. They sometimes sell plague samples, but they're not doing that right now. They're just selling rubbish. I appreciate the help. Maybe we can find a way to repay. My team's very experienced in dealing with zombies. I can see that. Are they going to go friendly? I hope they go friendly. No, I don't think they do. They just stay neutral, don't they? Uh, that's that's a real bummer. And yeah, they're not selling me the goodies that I want. Got a double bit axe, which is tempting, but fencing tools doing the job for now. Don't mind our pet zombie. No, I don't. Three of them, so they're probably not going to accidentally die. There's still that Dewey's hardware there that I want for myself. That's proving tricky, though. Mm -hmm. Just checking that everything's fine. Wow, we're actually feeling pretty great about our situation. Callum the Sleepy Pirate. Mm, whilst you're out here, young... Gas station, Jack Shot Espresso, Nail Salon, Sud City. A lot of these places are picked clean, but not all of them. And since you're here not tired and full of beans and gas, just get out there. On top of that, I don't fear ferals that much with Young because... He'll take less damage, and damage is what they deal lots of. He can also shoot them to death quite easily with this. He doesn't need to stop to reload until there's 86 shots flying out of this thing. The downside is that that's a lot of ammo to burn. He's already burned half of it. But uh, killing a juggernaut is well worth the investment. Are you going to upgrade your military truck when you get the chance? It really depends what we find. Upgrading the trucks or any vehicle requires specific vehicle upgrade kits, which are rare to find in traders. I've never seen them spawn on the map, and takes a lot of skill to create. Man, Callum's he's made a leader material here. Hearing zombies nearby, but this place seems relatively safe. More drugs for young. It's amazing. You can even sniff out drugs at a laundromat. 
the nose on that guy. New infestation where? Hopefully not out in bum diddly nowhere. I'm not seeing an infestation, are you? Idea. Jake, has Dark Young's attitude been revealed yet? This is the longest death road to Canada run I've seen you do yet. Jinx, why are the zombies so close? They're armored as well. I think we'll just give them a bit of space. Actually, I'm not sure if that is. Ultra light backpack is good, but. Only for selling. A backpack that weighs 0 0.1 pounds is not a backpack I would trust with putting anything in. And you could put six portable generators inside of it. As long as none of them turn around. Dark boy here. Is getting out scot-free. <laughs> You know, take the painkillers instead of the bandage. Painkillers a lot more instant gratification. Maybe they're really small generators. They weigh 25 pounds. Which is about 11 kilos. How long does Jake plan to stream today? Ah, until we find a natural point to stop. I mean, I'm not doing anything special tomorrow, so it can be as long as we want. I will have to take a five minute break at some point to refresh the character, so we only have four, and it would be nice to jack us up to six shortly, or maybe even seven. I want to feel a bit more of a squeeze on the food again. More characters are good if they have a lot of uh, skills. Uh-oh. Don't let it notice you, just rip open the electric box of this Shaggy Jack Espresso. This is a real thing. Like, tiny little shacks that sell coffee. Because I'm seeing this and I'm not believing it. My suspension of disbelief isn't working. JP Doyle 95 says, yes. Yeah, I gotta account the fact that this is based in America. I'm just not sure I could trust something like that to serve me a cup of coffee. I don't drink coffee, so maybe if they were serving whiskey or uh, prong cocktail flavored Pringles, I'm just not sure I'd throw that dice. Little coffee tall booths. Now, if it were a Waffle Hut, on the other hand, oh boy, I would be in there like a rat in a drain pipe. I don't know how Waffle Hut... Is it Waffle Hut? Or is it Waffle House? I think it's Waffle House. I don't know where Waffle House rates on an American's idea of good places to eat, but my god, that stuff is good. And it's not just that uh, grease-fueled food that they serve, which has a certain ambience to itself, but the whole place... That whole diner feel, the big, thick coffee cups. Mm, that $6.50 an hour smile that they have, it's just... It's fantastic. Okay, Young, don't let up now. I want to go and see what's going on over here from the billboard. Ah! Your friend Duffman's over there! Still feeling lucky? So, that makes three Juggernauts that we've spied now. Actually, four. So, Juggernauts are definitely spawning now. This game, and very, uh, very much exacerbated in this mod, has scaling difficulty. As time goes on and you get more survivors. And we're about to do both. 
Do, do, do. I see a plague heart over there. No, no, no. Waffle House is not even remotely close to having a kebab. How old was I? 14? Maybe 15? Long night out, and I went over to uh, the the village kebab shop. Had it, and uh, that morning I saw that kebab again, and never again did I buy that weird uh, meat that they shave off of those big stumps on the rotating grill. So when I come over to Sweden and I say, hey, well, what kind of food do you like around here? Oh, you've got to try this. What is it? It's a pizza with that disgusting kebab meat slathered all over it. Yeah, wasn't a good note to start my time here on. Hmm, talking about kebab meat's really killing the tension of going around this zombie infested place, so let's try and keep our wits about us. Just because Dark, Young, and Callum have both had good runs doesn't mean that doesn't all turn around in five seconds. Oh, yeah, well, maybe someday I'm going to remember to check the buildings before I just run into them. It's okay. They're attracted to the noise of the door, not to Dark Young. You know what? Go for that, not for me. Damn it. That did not nearly group them up as tightly as I wanted to. Try for a second. Yeah, we'll try for a second. Molotovs have pretty weak area of effect for the flame. It's much better to use a fuel bomb or a napalm grenade. But we are the beggars. And we can't do a lot of choosing. That feral moves damn fast. Feral. Oh no! No, 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 no. Whoa. So much for uh, our calm and quiet operation, but we still have more of these, so let's just distract them with that. Get down, carry on. Yes, yeah, so often feral's just the last thing you hear. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh my god, this isn't going well. I don't want to abandon the vehicle, but... Uh... Wait, that, that guy did catch fire. I didn't think that uh, armored guys caught fire. Winners get breaks, young. <laughs> okay, are we clear yet? a bullet on him, but... How many? How many are coming? Slightly fewer now. Oh, plague zombies! Uh. Oh, Christ! How oh, many? Ah, 
I just wanted to clean the area a bit. Didn't plan on completely clearing it. Okay. The power of drugs and a quick getaway have done wonders for old young here. But there's still too many of them. Shouldn't have tried to rush those last bullets. Why are there still more and where is it? Okay, well, let's just be glad there's no more ferals. Okay, any more for any more. Alright. Oh, freckle. Ah. <laughs> Let's just search the place, shall we? Callum still wants to meet the neighbors and Young's out here burning all this ammo. Ooh, wait, I, didn't I just give the hard noses some meds? I'm certain I did and they want even more. You can see on the minimap, whenever I pulled the trigger there, I was sending out a massive shockwave of uh, sound. And that was bringing all the zombies to the yard. Hmm, okay, can't leapfrog through that. Hmm, we found Elvis. Great. Some food. Food is not the desperate situation that it once was, but it'll get a little tighter as we bring in some more people, and we... Hold on. Mm, quite a few of them around here. And another fat bugger over there again. I think I'll keep a snack on me. And... Pop that painkiller. A good point was made. I should have uh, gone in to clear the Albudo Gordo Mexican restaurant to get a no spawn area erected around me. But I was too hard set on cleaning out all the zombies. It didn't even work. Look, more of them just keep popping around. What would be a good idea is actually just throwing some firecrackers over there and just making sure they all go away. It's a pretty good idea, actually. Hop. I really, really love that that works in the game. The game uses sound excellently. Oh, better watch out, Callum. We've got a witty bugger here giving you a run for your money. Now, that won't work forever. They'll disperse from the firecrackers. Ooh, that is neat. I'm just about to devour a nice thick kebab. You sure it was the kebab and not something else? Hey, you eat it all you want, but... Uh... The way they cook that kebab meat, as it spins around, it gets heated up and cooled down and heated up and cooled down, and that is just asking for bacterial growth of the bad variety. This place is a waste of time. And to top it off, it, it didn't taste good either. Heads up. Nearby. Do you know eat raw pork in Germany? Oh yeah, and I think that's great. No problems there. Big difference between eating something raw and eating something that's been heated up and cooled down over and over. There's a screamer right behind me, isn't there? Alright, young, pedal to the metal. 
Time to catch my breath. Yeah, indeed. We haven't picked this place clean yet, though. Well, I want to check the fruit stand and the shed and the other shed before I head back. It'd be nice if I could bring the car over. There's a lot of back and forth I'm doing here. It's unfortunate that Young doesn't have a quiet weapon to take out something like a bloater from afar, because when a bloater pops, it does a very large uh, sound effect, especially on this mod. He's also on his way over here, which is bad. It's uh, very bad, actually. And it's, it's getting worse, because he knows I'm here. All right, come on, tons of fun, then. He's going to trip and pop. And we're going to hope that the zombies don't come over to us for that. A feral. Where? We got a feral out here. Here. One shot, one kill. And Young is somewhere just screaming in agony, going, Why can't he make those shots? Because I make the shots I want to make. Oh, they've noticed me. Oh, easy does it now. Easy does it. Good. Alright, seeds are pretty underrated. They can be pretty good for boosting the output of food. However, somebody needs to know gardening. And one of the problematic things about having people make their own characters is most people have taken funky looking skills, which does not actually give us the community skills that you really need to diversify within your group. You really want someone who knows how to be an electrician, and someone who knows gardening, and someone who knows medical needs. But we aren't likely to have that. Check the vending machine, grab a snack or two. Personally, I like those new salted caramel Twix bars. Oh, okay. Or we'll just get nothing. Hey, Jack. Hey, Jake. Did you fix whatever it was you ran eight tests on? Yes. Yes, I did. It was getting the chat to display during the game. Okay. I still want to check the red shed. Oh, damn. It arced over in front of the car like it was a GTA 3 pedestrian. Or a bully pedestrian. Or any Rockstar open world game pedestrian. And it does a lot more damage if you hit it with the hood. Also, I think some zombies are following me up here. Let's do the prudent thing and close the door. And hope that we still find some building materials here. After we have a character die in the game, do we make a new one or are we back in the rotation? Um, anyone that's dead is dead for good, but they will be replaced. I'm going to bring in three more players once I... Probably once I return with Young here. I want to diversify the cast. And I'm not going to look at who they are, or rather what their skills are. I'm just going to bring them in. So if they are terribly useless, then that's just a real shame for me. That said, though... I'd like to bring in people that are actually viewers. I'll see what we have going for us. Lonely old shed, and then I'll know that this area is picked clean, and I won't need to return here ever again. Mm. Let's repair the vehicle while we're at it. Better to do it now than be stressed about it later. Fortunately, repairing is a silent action. <laughs> There's an exception to that. Sometimes when you repair a vehicle in this game, the physics just 
go off the wall, and then the vehicle goes off the wall. It, uh, it just suddenly gains a ton of velocity in some unknown direction, and then pings off. Oh, Christ, it's him again. I've come the wrong way. Although I did find something in the back of that. Oh, yeah, no, I think we'll leave him be. He's got an entire posse, does Duffman. I probably should have clocked on that the place was called uh, Shed on the Hill. Uh, triple bloater. Let's make this quick. Or line up one hell of a shot. Ah! Oh, <laughs> All right, but uh, seriously, we gotta be fast now, and we gotta be faster now. Another fat ass wondering where his friend is, but we are... How do we get down? Cane the suspension, but down we go. Is this where Dark Young does all that, but then dies on the drive home by hitting another bloater? Ooh, there might be something over there, but there's something right there! Oof. He can really do a number on the vehicle if he gets up close to it. Ah. Loads of everything in the way on the road. There we go. Thread of the needle. Hit bloater, you're more likely to hit a jug. Uh, I think I'd rather run into a juggernaut than a bloater. With a juggernaut, you just reverse change course and off you trot. With a uh, bloater, you bail. And you hope that there's not a lot of other zombies around waiting for you to bail. Also, if it's a plague bloater, you might even contract a terminal plague virus from it. I also think the bloaters are the worst of the lot. I mean, you have these ferals, sure. And ferals are the deadliest, but I don't find them annoying. In fact, I think it's great that there's such a huge threat... Damn, I thought I could be really cool and just reverse over it there, but no. I still want to, though. <laughs> well, he did it. Dark Young became a hero after doing all that. Huzzah. We got plus one outpost limit thanks to him. And all that shooting has allowed him to get better weapon handling. That is bad. Oh, well. At least his, vehicle, his uh, gun's going to get a lot less mangled. Well, this haul is pretty excellent. How's the fuel situation? Could be better. The offset of that is that we did spend 102 rifle rounds. Alright, Sasquatch. I think Sasquatch is a better name for young here. Um, um, and, um Isn't a good chunk of the bloater problem they pop in when you drive fast? Yeah, but it's also the fact that they lie down on the roads. And uh, if you hit them without noticing, then it's just as bad as anything else. Uh, we'll give it one more refuel. We do tend to burn through fuel here. Okay, we're in a relatively stable situation here, dare I say. We're making good food. It's actually gone down a bit because the uh, compost expired, but it will go back up. Meds are good, ammo's fine. We're making materials. Actually, we could build something back up. Don't know what, but we could. Um, I think it's time to bring in some more helping hands. I'm going to bring in three survivors from the people that have added themselves into the into the game. And I don't know how I'm going to pick them, but I'm not going to check out who they are before I do it. But if you're watching and you're going to carry around for it, then that's great. We can do what we did with uh, with Hamster and John. Send out two of you and only one returns alive. I think I'd like that quite a lot. 
But I'm going to, uh, I won't take the stream down, but we will have a little bit of a hiatus while I sort that out. So I will be right back in five or so minutes. <laughs> 